This story is pretty good, but I have an even better story about when I struck it rich in the California Gold Rush. The year 1848 was an important time in American history. Gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill by James Marshall. He was inspecting a lumber mill he was building for John Sutter. But then, something sparkly caught his eye. He found flakes of gold laying on the riverbed. An entrepreneur named Samuel Brandon bought all the pans and shovels in San Francisco and opened a mining supply shop. Then he ran through the streets yelling, Gold! There's gold in the American River! Brandon raised the prices of the mining supplies sky high and quickly became rich as prospectors bought supplies and rushed off to get rich. At the time of the gold rush, California's population grew very quickly because prospectors were all seeking their fortune in gold. Anyone who searched for gold is called a prospector or 49er because the gold rush happened in 1949. 90,000 people hurried to California to seek their fortune. They didn't just come from the United States, but from other countries too, including China, Europe, Mexico, Australia, and Portugal. About half of them traveled by land and the other half traveled by sea. 49ers traveling from the eastern U.S. traveled 8,100 miles in wagon trains that took six to eight months to get to the gold fields. Many travelers got hurt and sick along the way. The worst disease they carried was cholera, spread by drinking dirty water. When the 500 ships threw towards the gold rush, it took five to eight months on a crowded, dirty ship where travelers were bored and seasick all the time. Once prospectors got to the gold fields, they started their searchable gold by choosing a spot. They marked their areas by leaving tools on the ground or leaving markers like stakes or signs. This was called staking a claim. Gold mining claims along rivers were popular areas at the time, but they were as small as 10 square feet. And if you wanted more land, you had to stake a claim farther away from the river. But if you were farther away from the river, you had less chance of finding placer gold. Placer gold was uncovered when erosion broke down large rocks and loosened the gold inside the rocks, allowing the gold to float down into the rivers. 49ers searching for placer gold would scoop a shovel full of pater into a pan. As they swirled it, the gold would fall to the bottom of the pan because gold is heavier than other rocks and minerals. They would spend hours bent over in the water swelling their pan, knee deep in the water until all that was left in their pan was the gold. The California Gold Rush was an important event in United States history. It was a huge boost to California's population and economy. Mining camps that sprung up overnight when there was gold discovery quickly turned into busy towns called boom towns, where the population grew quickly or boomed. One of the major success stories of the gold rush was Levi Strauss, a German clothing maker. He traveled to San Francisco in 1853 and sold heavy canvas pants to the gold miners. The canvas pants he made were tough but uncomfortable, so he had a great idea to make pants from a soft but strong material called denim. He added copper rivets at the pockets and seams that made them extra strong. This was the invention of blue jeans. The discovery of gold inspired people to make journeys that they would have never made otherwise. Many people settled in the West and began new lives. Countless new roads and houses were built. Even after the gold rush was over, some of those early boom towns like Sacramento and San Francisco kept growing and driving into huge cities. The gold rush played a starring role in the history of North America. Wasn't that an amazing story? People faced danger, had adventures, and got rich. Maybe you want to learn more about the California gold rush.